Hey, Shalom on Israel. First off, I'd like to say, call ha ha, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me. Also, would like to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. The Akim is pushing his word in all sincerity and faith throughout the four corners of the earth. But a few sisters that watch and sincerely believe and rock with a shalom on to you as well. Uh, just back in the spirit with another lesson. Uh, just going into the mystery of the Gentiles. I know uh, we had the privilege, you know, in our class, you know, brothers within the Great Millstone Dallas camp to go into that, the mystery of the Gentiles. Because it's something that constantly has to come up, you know, all through the spirit. New viewership is out there. The true believers are trying to seek this truth. So in the process of sealing the Most High's election, just certain topics are going to be uh, brought up. I know I heard the apostles say jokingly, you know, we always talking about the, the MOB, you know, the RFID microchip. Well, that's relative to what time we're going into. And we're... You know, all through the spirit, we're the prophets, uh, Lord willing, we endure until the end that was set up. So prophets prophesy of things that are yet to happen before they happen. But just in the midst of just the, 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 the correct teaching and the breakdown, it's very important to know that the Israelites were scattered among all the nations. You know, so I'll read the scriptures and I'll, I'll break down and make the points, Lord willing, this edify. I'm going to start off here in uh, Habakkuk. 1 and 5, it says, Behold, ye among the heathen, and regard, and wonder marvelously. So it says, Behold, ye among the heathen. So this is talking about Israelites, because Israelites, according to the prophecy, we would be among the heathen, dwelling among the heathen. It says, Behold, ye among the heathen, and regard, and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. So pretty much in this uh, verse is really going into how Israelites, you know, especially in today's time, according to pursuant to prophecy, they're not going to come looking like your typical Israelite. Israelites are going to come looking in all different variations. You know, that's why this is spiritual. The spirit itself, of course, bear witness that we are the children of Israel. But just for the most how to show his power and then the prophecy uh, states that the Israelites would be scattered. Some of our people are going to come looking like the other nations. And that's a hard pill to swallow for a lot of scoffers, mockers, people that weren't really just uh, set up to get it. The, the, those that the most high blinded, you know, all of these so-called Christians, you know, they're just not going to see it. That's why it's the mystery of the Gentiles. It's only that mystery is only given for the elect to see it. But. You know, just for edification's sake, we, we constantly go into this thing. You know, it says, Behold, ye among the heathen. So we always have to go into the fact that Israelites, which today would be you so called Negroes and Latinos, you know what I'm saying? You, and you Native American tribes. We were scattered amongst all the, the heathen nations. So you're going to have some Israelites that are not going to look like your typical Israelite, like a, what you would call a Michael Jordan or a. Uh, Whoever, you know, whatever Israelite you want to think of, you know what I'm saying, that looks like a typical so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American. Our people, we were always among the heathen, you know. But I'll read the prophecy here in Deuteronomy 28 and 64. It says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. And it says, The Lord shall scatter thee among all people, meaning all the different nations of the planet Earth, man. Israel has been scattered. This is a curse, really. That's why we just can't, according to the naked eye, physically identify who's who right now. That's why everything's being done through the spirit of prophecy mainly because the prophecy says that we will be scattered. So the truth of the matter is Israelites are going to come looking like all the other nations. It says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And now, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So that's talking about the, the idolatry, Jake, uh, just heavy into uh, hardcore idolatry and just serving the gods that are other nations, you know, the gods that our forefathers didn't know of, you know, just assimilating into those other uh, customs, you know. 
And we have to constantly harp on the fact that before we woke up to this truth, you know, we're here in America. We're scattered among all these different nations in America. We're Israelites, but we have mindsets of, uh, of these other nations, chiefly Esau, Edom, you know, as far as our uh, way of thinking and doing things, man, our mindset, our standard of, of how we live has been dictated off of Edomite supremacy, man, going after the way of the heathen. But that's just uh, that 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 subject just being subject to that curse, you know. And in that process, like I'm expounding on in this lesson, you know, us dwelling among all the different heathen nations, Israelites are not going to come. All Israelites are not going to come looking like your typical so-called Negro, Latino or Native American. You know. That's just the truth of the matter. But I'll read this uh, actually. Yeah, this is uh, Tobit in the Apocrypha, chapter 13, verse 3. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. So we're supposed to confess the Most High before the Gentiles. And at one point, we were Gentiles, man. We were dwelling among all of these different heathen nations, serving their gods. We didn't know the law, statutes, and commandments of our power. So at one point, even the brothers today that preached this word, we were Gentiles, you know, and like I just read in the prophecy, we were scattered amongst all these different nations, man. So that's why it's a mystery, unless the Most High is dealing with you to unveil the, the secret of the mystery. It makes plain sense to, to those that are in the right mind of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah through the spirit of prophecy. It makes perfect sense, man. That's why you have to view things in the spirit. It says, uh, Ephesians 2 and 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. It says that at that time you were without Hamashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope. And without the most high in the world. So when we were in times past Gentiles, we were called uncircumcision because you had some of our people who didn't keep that law and circumcise their male child on the eighth day. You know, but just as Abraham, he received the promise of uncircum or he received the promise of circumcision, uh, not being circumcised. We as Gentiles, we hope to receive the promises through faith as well. Having access uh, back to the Heavenly Father through that blood that Yahweh Shah uh, shed, being that sacrificial lamb. It says, because we were, uh, it says that at that time you were without Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah being aliens. Another word for alien is a foreigner. It says from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers. That's another word for being an alien or a foreigner or a stranger. You were pretty much cut off, man. If you weren't coming up, uh, keeping the, the Passover and the other holy, the high holy days and the different times that Israel had to come back to, to, to Jerusalem, you know, to keep those high, those high holy days, you were cut off from the nation. It says, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the most high. It says, but now in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Hamashiach. So that's. Us uh, being adopted back to the Heavenly Father by the blood of Yahweh Shah, man. Regardless of us growing up in the customs and knowing that we Israelites, we still have access back to our inheritance, man. So that's the beauty of this thing. And the beauty also, the mystery is there are going to be Israelites out there that look like the other nations, man. Because you got Israelites that really just can't seem to grasp what the scriptures is saying on that. clearly obvious man if the spirit's dealing you uh if the spirit's dealing with you you know what this bible is saying and the fact that we have to be spiritual in discerning you know who's uh israel or, or not and that's ultimately why the angels are gonna have to come you know basically uh sort the wheat from the tares like it talks about in uh, saint matthew the 13th chapter you know 
because it's a very high level spiritual thing because through the process of prophecy we've been scattered but i'll read this uh precept and i'll end out the short lesson i just want to get right to the point this is uh james one and one it says james a servant of the most high and of the lord yahweh shaha mashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greetings and we were scattered throughout the four corners of the planet earth you know as a nation pursuant to that prophecy that i read in deuteronomy the 28th chapter you know we call ourselves american citizens today but brothers you know ultimately we go back uh to jerusalem but you know just through the diaspora and just the the, the transatlantic slave trade our our people we've been mingled amongst all of the different heathen nations throughout the planet earth so israelites they're going to come looking like all the other nations that's just the truth of what the bible is really saying concerning the mystery of the gentiles and the uh, the israelite foreigners who will be among the heathen so lord willing this made sense to edify it. i'll just end out on that i want to give all praises to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem rakakodash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone shalom peace and blessings to the hopeful elect